Hi guys, welcome back to Jerusalem Playroom. My name is Jamika and I want to show you guys a haul and some birthday items that I have. I just want to tell you guys how it is just a blessing to see the age of 49. Yay! <laughs> and y'all are going to laugh. I went to the thrift store and because of the week that I had on, the lady said, ma'am, uh, tell me, are you a senior citizen? I said, no, ma'am, not yet. And so the other people that were behind me that were senior citizens, they were laughing. But I just looked towards uh, growing older and just looking forward to the future of my life. I joked and told my cousins, I said, I can't wait to the day when I can go somewhere and say, can I get a senior citizen cup of coffee? <laughs> so I'm just telling you guys, I'm embracing it. I'm going to have fun with it. And I just wanted to tell you guys, it was just really unique. Um, my birthday was on Sunday, February the 25th, and my grandson, my oldest grandson, got baptized. Um, the Lord revealed himself unto him, so he said, and he decided that he wanted to get baptized. He's nine years old, so uh, we went and saw him get baptized. Him and actually it was a total of three children that decided that they wanted to give their life to the Lord and be baptized, so we were just really excited about that, and then after that, we went out to eat. And so I spent time with my family, the people who love me, and I was just so grateful and so honored. Um, it's a little chat, guys, and I'm going to get into the haul. I uploaded the video of my granddaughter, Adriana. Her school gave a sneaker ball, and my daughter really wanted uh, Adriana to go. And uh, Adriana is in, what is she in, elementary school? And I uploaded that video because I, as an adult, when I go out and I have a good time and I'm dancing and people think I'm wild or I'm up under the influence, I'm not. I'm just grateful for the moment and enjoying myself. And when I did go out and I was like, oh, these people are just standing, they're not doing anything. But when I went with those, when I saw the children, how they were having a great, great time. I said, this is my crowd. This is who I supposed to be with this energy that I have. I supposed to be with these kids because they got all this energy. They have fun. The girls and the young little, the little boys look so nice. They were clean. I had to be careful with, uh, I was trying to focus on her because it was so many different kids around. But guys, parents were there. The children were out having a great, great time. And that's what I've been focusing on is surrounding myself with people, um, with groups who just enjoy life, even though things happen. But when we get together, hey, we're going to put that aside and we're going to have a great time. And so I'm going to have another video about that later on. But I just wanted to let you guys know that as creators and uh, adult content, makers or whatever toy enthusiasts guys we are here for a reason these children need us whether we feel like oh i'm just doing this for myself you'll be surprised at how many young kids just look at your videos and just like oh i wish i could have a doll like that or whatever so going in the future going into the future i'm going to start doing some things um i've already did something and the parent sent the picture to my daughter and when I saw what that little girl was doing and how she was enjoying what I gave her, it just made my heart light up because I was like, this is what I want to do. It wasn't nothing fancy. It was just the fact that to see that child enjoying something that I had created for her, it just brought joy over me to say, hey, you're doing the right thing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, so with the, uh, enough of that, I just wanted to share that with you guys and just tell you guys, look at children's life when things go wrong or if they're hurt, what do they do? They go run to their parents or they go run to a teacher. Or they go run to a loving person who cares for them. That's what our infinite divine creator wants us to do. When things are not going right, come to the divine. The divine knows what you stand in need for. Sometimes we fall and it hurts. Go to the divine and tell the divine what's bothering you. We are like, we are children. Even though we are adults, we still have a supreme being, a higher calling on our life and things that happen in our lives. We may need a little help or guidance. Go into prayer and I promise you, you will be sent 
you will be led into groups where people like things just like you. Look at the dog community. I, I couldn't believe it because I was, people joked so much about me with my dolls. They laughed. And when I saw the Rose Doll Show on YouTube for the first time, I was in awe. I want to go. I have been doing some research on it, trying to figure out what to do. And it's, you have to really save up for it, in my opinion. And so I'm looking at these women. I'm looking at these other YouTubers who are liking and going and showing these videos of these dolls. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. There's a million other women over here that likes it, but you're talking about me. So what I'm saying is you will find people who like the same things that you like and you will be geared to going where they are. Is, is it going to be problems? Yes. Is it going to be struggles? Yes. But what I'm saying is get into groups where people love you and people doing the same thing that you do and you can have fun doing it. You just don't know. I see some of the people in the background, how they talk to the little girls who go in there playing with the dolls. Guys, we are we are here to change and make a difference in the world. And we may think like, oh no, my channel is small. No, you are here. You are what we need to go forward to help because some little girl, some little boy don't know how to play with toys. They never were given a toy. And so that's why it's, it's up to us. We are the Toys R Us kids who have grown up and now it's like, hey, let's play. So those are that's who I consider myself. I consider myself a Toys R Us kid who is an adult now who wants to play. And if these kids want to play, I'm going to get down and get dirty with them and play. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you guys some goodies that I got. I'm going to put on my glasses because I want to show you. I went to like... Uh, two thrift stores, then I went to Walmart, and then I went to Target. So let me put my glasses on to show you guys some things that I got, okay? Okay. Now, there are so many adult create uh, uh, YouTube creators, and I didn't, I'm not going to do a box opening because there's so many videos. I think I saw this on Instagram. I think it was the Adult Doll Boy. Uh, it was either that Instagram account or another. When I saw this picture... In December, I immediately uh, posted it. Was it December, November, or whatever? I had posted it on the account, and I said, hey, this is what I want for my Christmas gift. And I had went searching for the doll. Um, some other YouTube content creators, toy enthusiasts, they were showing the doll on their channel. I was like, oh, man. So I went on Amazon, couldn't find it. Daughter and I went to Target, and I just went through the doll section. And when I saw this, I was like, you got to be kidding me because I went on Amazon and they were out of stock. I found them at Target. <laughs> I did take her out the box. She is in my uh, room and I actually, I'm going to do a, I have the old one. But when I saw her, I was like, oh my God, look at her. She's so beautiful. And then the back of the box. So I got some ideas, some pictures that I want to take with her. And the people who have, y'all just, the creativity that's out here in it that's right here right now in 2024 is amazing oh my goodness i wish i can just do a video and show y'all it's so many creative people it's just mind-boggling but anyway i wanted to show you her now i found this doll when it first came out i wanted to get her but i didn't and then i found one in thrift and i gave it to my granddaughter when my daughter moved i found it on the ground and she was broken i was like what happened to my doll? You know, this is what I told my granddaughter. Oh, well, she gave me some excuses, but that's okay. So when I went to Walmart, I ended up finding this queen bee. So when I uh, got her, she has, uh, it's just really, uh, when I saw her, I said, let me get her. And I went ahead and got her. She was $20 and the other doll was $24. So I got queen bee and I'm not going to let my granddaughter play with her. I got some other ones that she can play with. Then I want to show you guys, um, I was watching this YouTube channel called The Adult Doll Collector. Um, when I was watching her channel and Chrissy Lynn's custom YouTube channel, on The Adult Doll Creator, she had showed these little uh, fashion packs that you can use for the Zuru My Mini Babies. I'm be I've been looking for them, but I couldn't find them. So that's fine. So I, when I went to Walmart and I saw Queen B. And Chrissy Lynn's custom channel, she had did a little video short. I said, okay, I'm me myself personally. I'm I like the fashion packs. I rather do the fashion packs because I don't have to have a, a lot of dolls. But I get it. People want the different dolls. But here's these fashion packs 
from what is these the lol i've already opened this one so let me show you on the adult doll collector she was showing and i have this barbie here yes guys she was thrifted so this is what the adult doll creator was um collector was talking about these those clothes can fit these dolls they look just like this now this is the old barbie baby and i had ordered these a long time ago off ebay so what i'm saying is these clothes fit these this doll perfectly look at those the shoes fitting everything so i just wanted to show you guys because i was watching her channel and i was like okay this is fine because i've been looking for clothes for these dolls and you can make them there's some youtubers who are showing you how to make clothes for these dolls but i just wanted to show my doll and how i put her on that little uh dress okay the next thing that i got from um walmart like I said, I like the fashion packs and I like stuff like this. And the reason why I was getting these fashion packs because of my rainbow high dolls. And so I, I just like to put little different stuff on them. So I got two of these. Then, let's see. That was all. That was all that I got from Walmart and Target. So next, let me show you guys. I got different stuff. So we're just going to go through it. When I saw this, I was like, okay, the, I took the tag off because I had to wash it and I didn't know I didn't wash. it. I just wiped it down real good. This is from Sparks Create Imagine. Imagine. Just say imagine. Spark Imagine. Look at that. And the, when I saw it, I thought about what was her name? Was it Agnes off of the Minions? I thought about her and the little unicorn because she was like, it's so fluffy. <laughs> So when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, this is really, really cute. So I went ahead and got that. Then, this they had these separated. This was one price and this was another price. So when I looked at it, I was like, okay, I put this on here and I don't know if it was something on top or not. And I looked at the bottom. Melissa and Dubs. And then when I open it. The horses are actually still on the little thing. So I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing for a little uh, little boy or a little girl or whatever uh, to, you know, want to play with. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, let me get that. And I did. And this is something that my grandsons can just roll around or, or things like that. So, you know, got that. Um, Let me show you guys this and show you the last thing. When I go to the thrift store, I look for stuff like this and <laughs> there were two sleeves of the little reusable, well, not the reusable, what they call the inserts, Playtech bottle inserts. So when I find stuff like this, I just go ahead and get them. Now, these right here, I already had. I had the small ones, but when I see stuff like this, I just get it. I just get it. So let me show you what I, why I got it. Here are some Playtech bottles that I had thrifted. Let me put two down. So they fit perfectly inside of these Playtech uh, bottles. They fit perfect. The small ones go in there like that. And usually you can just throw them away. And so I used to keep a little girl and her mother had the Playtech. She just loved the Playtech. Here's another one that I bought. And the Playtech is so many different kinds of Playtech. So this bottle here is what I started my daughter out of out but her father he didn't like to deal with the little plastic things he didn't like that so he changed her bottom and i was really mad but this is a uh this is the one that was back in the 90s i think um i know when my daughter was young i used to buy these kind right here and when i saw them at the thrift store i got i got this color and some other colors and then playtech revamped them and made them like this this one doesn't have a nipple but i got i have one somewhere so they revamped them and started making them, you know, like this. And you just slide it in. So but I'm going to do a video about bottles next. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Okay. I mentioned to you guys like how I buy my pacifiers from the thrift store. Sometimes I find them loose and then sometimes I find them like this. I always say these are like basket stuffers. And when you, and I see a lot of these at baby showers, when you go to baby shower, a lot of people donate. 
I always try to tell people because I worked at the hospital and I was I was a former OB tech to omit buying these because the hospital provides you these. You can ask if you can get two or three. So if you these right here are just substitutes. Um, well, they're not substitute, but they're exactly like the ones in the hospital. They're just a different color. That's the only thing. You can put a little clip through it. And I'm looking around to see if I have a doll that has one on, but I do not. But you can put a little, you can slide the clip through. And these are some you can get from the dollar store. And I have one for, it's already clipped on here. Let me take it off. I have it down here. Here's one that I made for Gerard. And all I did, guys, is I just made him, um, made him his own pacifier and just put that blue one on there. So you can use this for a girl or a boy, whatever you want to. But these most likely for little girls. But I just want to show you when I see them in the store, I get them. Um, they're inexpensive and I like to use them on my dolls. Okay. Let's see. Let me move this out the way. Okay. I saw this brand new, guys. Brand new. It's a Christmas theme, but it has the Toy Story characters on there. You see Buzz Lightyear, Woody, and Jesse. And I thought that was really, really cute. So I, I went ahead and got that. Then I saw this. And I've, I'm always telling you guys, don't overlook the purse section. Don't overlook because they have some cute little things. I have to clean it up a little bit. But guys, that is so, 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 so cute. And it's like a little girl, you know, if you want your little girl to carry a purse or something like that, and she, you can put a little couple of dollars in there or something for church. But I thought that was really cute. So I went ahead and got that. And then I saw this. I think the price is still on here. I don't know. It, it's a little small. I thought it was on here, but it's not. When I saw it in the toy section, I said, let me go. One of these thrift stores that I go to, sometimes I find some really good toys and then other times I don't these things right here are good for like toddlers because they can put stuff in here and carry it they can pull it rather so these are really good for uh toddlers to play with it can be for a girl or little boy or whatever but I just thought it was really cute so saw that now finally the last thing I want to show you guys and I use I had to put this on my dog when I saw it in the store, I said, oh my goodness, let me go ahead and get it. I can put this on baby girl Genova. But when I brought it home, it was actually too big for Genova. So this right here, it looks like, I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like that material, like if you use a table runnel or maybe some curtains, I'm, that's what it looks like to me, okay? So it didn't have any buttons in the back. It didn't have any buttons. And so I said, let me get a small doll. I said, well, this can kind of fit a premium. Yes, the arms are kind of big a little bit because there are some elastic in there. When I saw this at the store, I was like, this is handmade. Somebody made this. And I'm going to show you guys. And I'm trying to find this lady. I am really trying to find her. And let me find her... Uh, Where's, here it is right here. Handcrafted by Glenine. If y'all know her, I don't know her YouTube channel. I do not know. I don't know she got a YouTube channel. I don't know she on Facebook or whatever. When I tell y'all creativity, I'm looking for her because I have dolls and I be wanting something for my dolls. Yes, it's small. It's more so for a preemie size baby, but this fits. This is the Adora doll here. And I took her wig off, so that's why I have it because this fits her perfectly. Look at that. This is what I'm saying about using materials. Even though somebody may not like it, I like it. So, Miss Glenine, if you're watching, I just want to let you know I found your beautiful dress in the thrift store. I don't know where it came from or whatever. But I just wanted to let you know I like it. And it's in Jerusalem Playroom. Just want to let you know that. Okay. Let me put her down. Okay. Okay. Get my, get my little unicorn here. So, guys, enjoy life.
as kids, we used to have fun. And I told every, I told somebody this, and I'm telling you, if you're watching this, I was in elementary school. Well, even if you let's 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 throw away the past, okay? Let's throw away. Let's not we're gonna throw it away, but put a pen in it. Ooh. Your homework assignment is. I want you to think of three things that you wanted to do when you was a child. Three things that you can enjoy doing. You don't have to get paid for it. You can just have fun. Three things you always wanted to do or you want to be. So I'm going to share you with what I, me, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a teacher and I wanted to be a radio disc jockey. Your guys are going to laugh. Yes. Here in Birmingham, there used to be a station called 107.7. And there was a guy, a disc jockey named Dave. I think it was Dave Darnell. Hi, welcome to 107.7. You're listening to Dave Darnell. Thank you so much for listening to Win 107.7. I used to want to be on the radio. Yes, I like music. So when I'm always going out, even in church, I always sit close to the music section. I started off playing the flute, but I can't, I'm not, I just enjoy music. So people who can play music. So now I'm like, I need to start going out to little uh, jazz places. I saw one on TV. I'm like, hey, I need to go there because I like music. Teaching, I just always wanted to be a teacher. So I started off in child development in college. This is where all his ideas come from. And then the doctor was because I wanted to heal people and help people. And so my life, my life went total, a total different direction. But yet, because I am not in, I don't have any degrees in that. I have a degree in something else. It's like you can take from each one of those things and create your own thing. Okay, our, what makes us unique is what, we are unique beings and what makes us stand out more is our imperfections, okay? What I mean by imperfections, things that you may look in the mirror and may not like about yourself, that's what make you unique. That's actually your, what makes you stand out. What you think is ugly, it's not. It's what makes you different from the other people. And you can see that sometimes look at different YouTube channels. Look at different people, how they dress, how they style each other. Some people just look look alike. God didn't divine us to look like each other. He made us uniquely different. Some people have long hair. Some people have short hair. If everybody was alike, it'd be a boring world, right? So anyway. I want you guys to have fun as adults. Yes, there's a lot of stuff going on. I had to, the other day, it was so much negativity. I was like, I, I can't deal with this. That's why I come in a play room and play. Some guys like to play video games. Women talk about that. Some some women may talk about, oh, he just sits and plays video games. But as a little boy, that's what little boys like to do, play video games and trucks. You'll be surprised how many adults still like to do things that they did when as they was a child and people make fun of them don't make fun of whatever your whatever about yourself that you may not like you can change it but just know that the way that you are is special and you don't have to be like anybody else even if somebody thinks it's weird even if somebody thinks it's crazy they don't understand it it's not for them to understand and so i just wanted to share this with you if you fall and hurt yourself, go to your father. Go to you. Go to the Creator. Go, go talk. I, I share my testimonies with y'all because I want to be a blessing. It's now that I don't tell everything. I will admit that I don't tell everything, and I be I want to tell everything. I want to tell my process. Yet there are beings out here, people with who do not have the spirit of God in them, who are just they like being around that low vibrational. They like being low. They like that low vibrational frequency. So they like to stay there. And if they see any people, anybody with a high vibration, they want to try to bring them down on there. No, we're trying to bring people up. We're trying to bring people to a high vibration. So I want to thank all the toy uh, channels that I watch. I'm watching Gala. I've been watching her channel. I, I tell y'all about BB. 
Um, there are some other channel, Chris, Crystal Lens Custom. I think that's the name of her channel. Everybody knows my Froggy. And I'm watching a, a adult dog collector. I watch some reborn channels. Yet I noticed that a lot of uh, reborn nursery channels, they, you know, they're still doing their reborn things. But I noticed a lot of them are now starting to buy dolls that are, are not reborn. So uh, you have C Red. I like her because she does Grogu. So all these channels out here, I'm just telling you some that I watch. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. My haul, my birthday, how I'm enjoying life, taking it one day at a time. One day at a time, okay? All this stuff that's going on that we can't control, give it to the daddy they doing this. Daddy they doing that. Daddy, give, it to, give it to the divine. He'll work it out. Okay. All right. I'm almost out of time. My daughter told me to keep my videos um, short. But anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching Jerusalem Playroom. And y'all have a wonderful day. And stay tuned, okay? Because you never know what I'm going to have in the playroom. All right. Bye.